Did you catch that documentary, The Way Down? I did. Oh my God, is yeah. that not fucking bananas? It's crazy. It okay. is crazy. I won't give away the kind of the surprise ending or surprise beginning and ending. I don't know. But this yeah. lady named Gwen Shamblin uh, became like a preacher of a Baptist church. Is that right? Uh, a sect of the Baptist church, like a very strict sect of the Baptist church. Yeah. It may have been like Church of Christ or something. No, Church of Christ is the Mormons, I think. Oh, they are? The Church of Christ Latter-day Saints, I think. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want yeah. I don't know which church. But it was a sect of Christianity, some sect of Christianity. Right. And so Gwen Shamblin was this lady who back in the 80s decided that she was going to start her own like ministry. Mm -hmm. But the ministry was going to be based on or it was going to focus on weight loss. So it was a weight loss. It was a diet fad for Christians. Mm -hmm. Basically, you just put your trust in Jesus that he would help you count the calories. Yeah. And then, you know, every time you wanted to go have an extra snack, you would just pray it away. Right. Right. You'd pray away. the, the <laughs> And it became incredibly successful. Yes. And by the way. Right outside Nashville. Yeah. Yeah, right outside Nashville. Mm -hmm. And by the way, there, there, the, there's a lot of precedent for this. There's a lot of Bible-based diets out there. This is not like she's not the only one that did this, but mm -hmm. she became very popular. Had a television show, had you know DVDs and VHSs, books, all this other stuff, and she ga she gained a very large following. In the process of doing that diet fad, she started preaching also. Mm -hmm. At some point, she decided she was going to start her own sect, her own. Parish, her own church. Uh, yeah. her own church. Mm -hmm. And this church was going to be based on some very incredibly strict Bible teachings, right? Mm -hmm. uh, some real dumbass interpretation of the Bible. Basically, Gwen's interpretation of the Bible. Yes. And what Gwen said went. And mm -hmm. even though she taught women to be subservient to their man, and she taught them that they needed to be skinny, and that being fat was a sin, and that if you had that extra donut, you were going to hell, and... She started this church that became popular outside of Nashville, and it became a nightmare cult. Yeah. A nightmare cult. There were obviously yeah, abuse, of sexual children. abuse, of course, abuse of children. One child died yeah. from the abuse that he received at the hands of parents who were a part of the church and were encouraged to beat their children if they didn't mm -hmm. listen. Mm -hmm. Now, it'd be easy to go beat my child every time, <laughs> every time <laughs> he didn't do something I asked him to do. But I don't do that. You want to know why? Because I know fucking better. Yeah. I'm a human being. I wouldn't want that done to me. No. I don't want it done to my son. That's just not a way you teach people how to do things. That's a way how you scare people into doing things. But eventually that fear is going to manifest itself in ways you don't expect. That's right. But this is what Gwen taught. Mm -hmm. And she would like religiously like check up on people. There was basically, you couldn't do anything if you were in the parish, if you were part of the church. You couldn't do anything without Gwen's specific permission. That's right. Or one of her minions, right? Mm -hmm. Which included her, you know, uh, her second husband and some other people. Go watch the documentary. I don't want to give it all away. Go watch the documentary. It is fascinating. Yeah. But it made me start thinking. I was talking to Astrid. I'm like, Diets, dieting, mm -hmm. really is like a breeding ground for cult-like behavior. It is because we all want to be skinny. Mm -hmm. We all want to have. We all want to be fit. We all want to be in shape. We all want to be here for the long run. So we will do almost anything in order to keep our bodies in some young state, right? Mm -hmm. Especially as we get older, we're desperately trying to claw back a few extra years, right, and a few less pounds, and so. This this dieting and and the gym really are like a, just a cesspool for cult like opportunities and for cult like personalities. Mm -hmm. People, you look at people and you go, oh, "That guy's fit. He seems to have it all together. He's organized. You know, he's the whole nine yards." That I want to be like that guy, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm willing to listen to whatever he says about my diet and my health because he did it. And so since I'm a weakling who can't do it on my own, right. I'll just give up my will to this person, yeah. right? I mean, I'm being serious. Like, yeah. And so these diet crazes sometimes uh -huh. become cults, just like Gwen's did. Yes, they do. I started reading about a girl here it, uh, now in 2021, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Remember, we were talking about the Real Housewives yes. of Atlanta. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills had a lady on there one time, and I can't remember her name, not Shannon something. I'm not sure what her name is, but okay. she started a diet club, basically is what it is. Okay. You pay thousands of dollars to get into the club level one. Level one is two weeks of intensive monitoring 
basically trying to get you to break your eating habits, yeah. right? You have to take a picture of everything that you eat. Boot you have camp. to take a picture of your weight. You have to take a picture of your body. You have to take it and you have to send it to a WhatsApp group. And then all these, you know, quote unquote mentors then tell you what you're doing right and you're doing wrong, right? But it's all controlled by one woman at the top. Oh. And she's always in the in the middle of it. You have to tell these women everything, right? It's like Nixvium. It's like yeah, you have to send naked pictures of yourself so that you can so they can tell you how ugly you are yeah. so that you lose that weight because you're fearful of their social repercussions. Mm-hmm. This is still going on in 2021. And there oh, are people yeah. that are paying tens of thousands of dollars to be a part of this bullshit. Yep. It's crazy to me. Now, I, I don't think I have the type of personality who would get swindled easy by a cult, but... People who who end up joining cults are, are can be rather intelligent human beings. Yeah, it's like a spiral that just goes down. I mean, it would That's be right. as if you started something and we're good friends, best friends, and all of a sudden I'm like, well, you know, maybe this, some of the stuff that you're saying makes sense. Here you are, the commercial yeah. break. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's you see right, where I'm going with this? Goal, yeah. goal. Well, Brian's really got it all together. He started that commercial break. We seem to be doing well. Look at him. He's I'm a great guy. Him. I'm going to follow him wherever he goes. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about soaking, huh? Yeah. yeah uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep, I'll yep. listen. Never going to get another job. <laughs> <laughs> future employers are going to listen to this but you know what he yeah. seems to know what he's doing <laughs> let's go for it <laughs> yes I, I, this is how it happens kids yeah, I, this is how it happens right <laughs> you're watching it in real time if i say this to say uh there are lots of people out there that, that are doing this they are giving this this kind of recommendation i personally think like um what do they call it uh crossfit Mm-hmm. CrossFit's a little nutty too. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've all had those friends in CrossFit where you're oh, like, yeah. what, what, what are you doing? Like all of a sudden now, all you can do is spend time with your CrossFit with trainer friends. and your CrossFit friends. Yep. And then you have to go on Saturdays and Sundays and Monday nights and Tuesday afternoons. And every time you have a lunch break, you have to go to CrossFit. It's like, I'm not saying CrossFit is a cult. I'm saying that it, it could be, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it could be if the wrong person gets a hold of you, right? Yes. I'm yeah. sure there are lots of people that do CrossFit or that teach CrossFit or that, you know, I know they're all independently owned mm-hmm. that are perfectly lovely human beings that have no intentions of being, you know, yes. Jesus-like figures. They just want to teach people how to get fit. But I'm saying that in those moments of of weakness, in those moments where you're doubting your own abilities, or, and, and that's why church with the magic man in the sky right. is so difficult for me to comprehend. It's because, you know, you're doubting your own abilities to be a good person. So let's listen to that person because they seem to have it all together. And pretty soon, all of a sudden, you know, you're sending pictures <laughs> of your fat ass t- to a 300 person WhatsApp group yeah. and having them criticize <laughs> your cellulite. Yes. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know it's to also me. a breeding ground for all those supplements, those magic pills. Oh, yeah. Don't even get me started on the God. supplements. That's why you will never see a supplement sponsor on the commercial break if we have anything to say about it because <laughs> yeah. i say that if spotify was to buy us you can play whatever you want i don't give a shit at that point yeah i'll just do it for the money oh no get it. uh no you'll never see a supplement sponsor on our show because i'm not going to be responsible for somebody's death and i don't know what those things are doing to your body and, right you know you got to talk to your doctor about that don't don't listen to me yeah but <laughs> <laughs> but Squatty Potty, now there's a product you should use. Listen to me on that one. Absolutely. Don't listen to me about, don't listen to me about life or spirit or <laughs> diet, but listen to me about your shitting habits, squattypotty.com That's slash right. TCB. So, I, you know, this is going on still in, in 2021. This girl is still out there doing this, and this has been a big controversy amongst some of her friends and some of her followers, you know, because a real housewife star, a real housewife star is mm-hmm. who you're choosing to listen to yep. for all of your nutritional needs. And the truth is, she's nothing but a real housewife star. She's not some like nutritionist. She's not a dietitian. She is simply a lady who. And you know, the thing is, everybody's bodies are different and respond differently to different things. And you have a different metabolism and this, that, and the other. There's so many factors that go into, you know, oh, look at that person. What do they do? I'll do the same thing. That's right. Yeah. And so, you know. I understand dieting's hard. I get it. And especially as you get older, it's really hard. And especially as you get older, you like feel worse about yourself. You're like, oh, the wrinkles and the gray hair and the I'm old and di- fat. I'm old and fat and my dick don't work. <laughs> I'm going to start like a boner cult. <laughs> I'm going to be like, summon your boner. 
<laughs> Summon it. <laughs> send me a picture of your boner right now. <laughs> Everybody send me a picture of your boner. <laughs> Uh, boner, boner boys boner. unite <laughs> <laughs> if yes. you want a longer yes. stronger thicker hard on come to brian's boner boy boot camp i mean you know who you have to get involved first uh, Be the, get the on the ground floor if you will yeah you got to get on the ground floor yep uh, frankie b that? frankie b I that's mean, right i thought perfect you're, for it uh, you're gonna say <laughs> <laughs> the guy from cnn jeffrey what's his name tubin <laughs> Get those veiny <laughs> cocks out, boys. <laughs> we're marching over to the CrossFit <laughs> and we're going to pump iron with our boners raging. <laughs> Free the boner. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's it's uh, unique. People will be like, wow, that's aggressive. <laughs> it's Just unique. like BonerCon 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Come with your hi hat hard. Don't worry about it. Fly that freak flag. Literally. Pitch a tent here at BonerCon 2021. Our all male boner camp 20 our boner camp boner boot camp. <laughs> We're gonna teach you your boner how to get back in fighting shape. shape. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't get it up for like 30 years. And then I went to Brian's boner boot camp. <laughs> And now I'm longer and stronger than ever. I can see it. I can see it too. I can see like a bunch of guys walking around with sweatpants on and just like hard on. If it moves to the right, if it moves to the left, if it curves down or up, it doesn't matter. Brian's Boner Boot Camp is going to get you strong again, fit again, and hard again. Brian's Boner Boot Camp coming to a city near you. That's right. <laughs>